We are pleased again this week to have the children with us for the second week of Vacation Bible School. And it's important that the time that is spent all week long learning more about our faith and learning more about our Lord comes together at this moment when we gather to celebrate the Holy Mass. Because it is in the Mass that we see all that Jesus came to give us. It's where He makes Himself completely available to us, and for a very important purpose, for something that without Him we would not be able to know or to receive, and that is the gift of mercy. When we hear mercy, we think automatically also of another word, forgiveness. We think that they're just the same thing, but they can actually be seen as something a little bit different from each other. Forgiveness is when we say that someone is not in our debt anymore. They don't owe us anything. We don't expect anything from them, even if they have done us some wrong. That is something we are in control of being able to do. But mercy is kind of different. Mercy is reaching down to a person who cannot help themselves and lifting them up, raising them up, something that we don't have to do, But if we have the strength and are able, it is good that we would do. So God shows us both mercy and forgiveness. Because God is prepared to forgive our sins. But sometimes the merciful thing for God to do is before he forgives our sins, is that he lifts us up. He picks us up and helps us so that we can experience his forgiveness. That's what we hear about in today's first reading. God was going to show the people that were trapped in Egypt His mercy. That He was going to reach down to them and pick them up. He was going to save them from something they could not get themselves out of. And the reason He was able to do that is because God is perfect. We know that God is without sin. Only God can save us from our sin. We are all trapped in our sin, like a web. Have you ever walked through a spider's web? You can feel it after you keep pulling it. You feel like you've gotten it all off, and then later you realize there's more. Sometimes you feel like you have to take a shower just to get rid of all of the spider web. That's what sin is like. We don't even necessarily see that it's there, like a spider's web, and then we walk through it, and now we're stuck. It's on us. We can't get rid of it. We can't fix it. We can't go backwards and make it go away. But God can show us mercy, which means He comes down and picks us up. And once He's picked us up, He can help us have a way to experience forgiveness. God's mercy comes before His forgiveness. Forgiveness is what He brings us after He has made it possible for us to receive it. And He made that possible for us by sending us Jesus, His Son. Because Jesus is God and a man. A hundred percent of both, not 50-50. Jesus is fully God because God is his own father and fully man because he had a human mother, the Virgin Mary. But because God knew that he wants his son to be perfect, he made a special grace for the Virgin Mary so that even from her own conception, she was perfect, free from sin, never with ever any sin in her life, so that she could give Jesus a perfect human nature. So now Jesus is perfectly human and perfectly God, and so he's a bridge between us both. A bridge between God and humans so that we have a way to experience his forgiveness. In God's mercy, he sent us his son so that he could forgive us from our sins. We don't always understand how God works. He doesn't always make sense to us. Today in the gospel, the apostles were walking with Jesus and the authorities said that Jesus was sinning. Can you imagine? 
they must not have known who Jesus was to say that he was sinning. But that's because they didn't understand him. And we don't always understand God either. Sometimes God does things or doesn't do things that don't make sense to us. They seem confusing. Especially when we read throughout the Old Testament. We think, why would God say this? Or why would God do that? But that's because God knows way more than we do. So just because we don't understand him doesn't mean we can understand why he does what he does. But what we do know is that he has shown us mercy. Mercy by giving us Jesus. Before, they had to keep killing these lambs over and over and over again. Until Jesus finally came and said, no more of that. I have come in God's mercy to forgive your sins forever. And that's why when we celebrate the Holy Mass, we call Jesus something over and over and over again. We call him the Lamb of God. He's the new Lamb. When the priest says, Behold the Lamb of God, the host is broken in pieces because Jesus has given himself for us. That is God's mercy for the forgiveness of our sins. We cannot understand it. It doesn't always make sense. But we trust that because God is good and he loves us and he's perfect, that he has worked out a plan for us to be with him always one day in heaven. And so today, when we participate in the Holy Mass, we ask the Lord to help us be focused so that we can really understand the gift that he is giving us every time we see the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world.